lovelies, it's Veronica and today I have something very exciting to share with you. Yet again, it is. For me, it's all exciting because it's makeup and it's num my number two obsession. <laughs> number one is movies, if you didn't know that, but and TV shows and stuff like that. But I've picked up the Urban Decay Double X Vice Limited Reloaded Palette. Can't make names any longer, can they? And this was a spur of the moment. Me and my sister, we popped into Debenhams and she was looking for something for a party and I was like, I saw it on the stand, uh, stand and there was a beautician next to it and she was like, oh, it's only like a uh, Debenhams only palette and stuff. And I thought, I swatched the color at some of them and I thought, oh, it looks so pretty. Should I, shouldn't I? So my sister went to get what she needed and I was passing and I was like, oh, mm, no, no. Went home. I went to take her home and then I went to, to work and I stopped at Demet House to pick this up! <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I find it hilarious. I was like literally walked into the Benhams in my uniform I was like, I want this. I'm getting this. I was gonna get the Mundas palette as well but they didn't have any of it and in stock so I still might do and get that because I keep seeing the swatches and I think it's just a beautiful shimmery palette that I don't have. I don't really do shimmers. I tend to do those pigment sort of shimmers, but it's just, I, it, I just love the look of it. I just need to see some tutorials on it and see how it applies, blends and stuff like that. But I think it's more of a packing palette anyway. But no, we're not to talk about, about the palette that I didn't get, we are here to talk about this one. And some of you that follow me on Instagram would have seen a post of this and I also posted recently on Twitter because I joined Twitter, yay! <laughs> Only recently, but I joined Twitter. And it's the packaging out of it is just beautiful. I mean, it came in a box like this, which is also very, very pretty. I really like the look of Urban Decay's packaging. This one looks like crystals. So if you look at it, it's a little bit higher than the actual uh, plastic packaging, uh, which is matte. And then you have, which is going to be easy to keep clean, so you wipe it basically. Um, and then it's just beautiful, the crystals look really, really pretty. I love purple. And then you have the XX Vice, XX, double X, or 20 Vice Limited Reloaded. I think, as far as I'm aware, this is an anniversary palette. It's a limited edition. It has got some well-known eyeshadows in it and some that are really, really old. So like, have been a cult classic or have been about for 20 odd years. I'm guessing it's a 20 year anniversary. I will link all the informations below. I will link all the shades description below. I won't be describing the shades because I'm not very good at that and I might get it wrong. So it's on their website. So make sure I link their website. I link, I put all the descriptions of the eyeshadows below. Um, this is more about how it's how it's working because I'm wearing it today. You know, I'll give you some swatches and tell you how what I think about how the battery, the powder, and stuff like that. So it has got. Uh, some information on the back as well. Overall, it's a really nice packaging, really, really nice. And the thing is that it doesn't open up your traditional, you just pull up, you push. So I'm wondering, oh, see? <laughs> so the mirror is, sorry about that. I won't be able to cut this out. <laughs> Head this out so that really spooked me because the mirror is just it jumps back so it's so heavy and it just it doesn't really stay sit so it's just sort of it's quite leaning back so it doesn't say stay straight so when I was taking pictures it was very difficult as well but I was I was worried that I scratched the nice though and I didn't so it's very heavy. It did the mirror is a really good size. It's it's huge. It had a film protecting film over it. It's already getting my fingerprints. It's just really heavy. So I, to be honest, I would have liked just sort of in the middle, but you know we can't get everybody, can we? There is also a brush, <clears throat> which looks like a really nice quality, and I will give it a go. I didn't use it today, but then we have. Let me just why did I put it back? Come on out. Come on. Out. There you go. And then we have the shades, and these are the shades. And what really drawn me to the palette was the golden just there. And you know, they're mixed, there are some shimmers, there is a mix of satins and some mattes. The thing with me, I only have one Urban Decay palette, and it's the Roller Girl, I think it's called, or something like that. And that has got only satins in it, so I've never tried their mattes. So today, for this makeup look, I've used Laced, which is this one here. 
which is like a very light brown, sort of a very, very, very light, uh, more of a creamy, like a creme brulee type of thing. Um, and I've used that in my crease. Then I've used, and I just realized that's actually a, um, a cream color. Okay, I used Anonymous, which is just here. It looked more of a very pale color when I was doing my makeup, but it's, um, it's really dark outside. So I've used that one just sort of under my brow bone. And then I decided to do a bit more red. I love red looks, the wine colors, and I really like the look of this one here which is called Gash and it just looked like really nice wine color and I sort of thought oh, it would be perfect. Right, the three that I use, what I can say is that laced blended beautifully. It really it was a couple of swatches in the pan with the brush and you know it really transferred color, really burned really nice. Same with Andromeda but because it was just really just to um, <coughs> correct any mistakes or just correct where I was um, blending things out just to make it a little bit more even that's what that was for the problem I had with gash was that it, I used the packing brush so I really packed it on it was a very little fallout which was really really good but once you start blending it really blended it out so I had to pack on a bit more and just be careful where I was blending so so just around the edges so it had to be really packed on but it was perfect for my under eye it was just a couple of dips and with, with a little brush so let me just show you which one I use no it's not there so sort of like this type of brush just to really really pack on the color and it was beautiful for that so you know I can work with that one at the moment I wasn't I was a bit shocked that it was blending out so sheer but you know I packed it on so so that was really good at the end so I think the outcome is really nice and um, yeah so these are the colors and I'm gonna give you some swatches and the mirror is gonna be all in the way so let me just move the bowl right so we're gonna start with top row which is suspend which is like a grayish color um, hold on, back forth back forth and it just looks really creamy. It will be a really nice crease color. I like those unusual colors to be crease colors. I don't like just like really br like brown. Although I used like a really light brown today, but I do like red as a crease color or you know like a grayish color or something like that. So looks really nice. Oil suck. Interesting. It's got a bit of shimmers in it. It's again very very nice and pigmented. A road stripe, more of a lavender sort of a. It's look, it looks, I can't even see it. It's very sheer, very, very sheer. It feels really nice and creamy. Oh, yeah, it's, it will be one of those packing colors just there. Now, the one I'm wearing today, <coughs> Gash. It looks a bit more bronzy, but it's a really nice wine color. At least that's how it looks um, in the palette. Midnight Cowboy. Forgot to tell you, I'm wearing this one in sort of my inner corner. And it's a just really nice champagne pink. Oh, I'm doing this awkward. Um, this one is 501, which is a bluey, very competitive blue color. Looks a bit deeper in the um, <coughs> pan. Then we have shallow. It's more of a grey colour as well again. As I said, I'm very bad with descriptions of colours because what I see, that's what I say really. And I try to be like, oh, it's maybe pink or, you know, muted this and muted that. But there are descriptions on the website, so I'll make sure I link it below. Lace that feels really really buttery. That's the one I'm wearing today. It's just there. Hot pants, which is like a it's a pink. It's like pink. Yeah. I was gonna go for that one. It's just there. But then I decided to do red. Now this one called my name when I was looking at it, and this one is called Mildew. And I swatched that in the store and with the gold that just made my choice so much easier. So that's the one here and it's just beautiful. Very buttery as well. Smog. Which 
looks like a gold. Well, it's a bronze gold. It's just there. And I'm running out of space, so I'll have to turn my arms around and switch head. So, yeah, it's really pretty. Misdemeanor. Looks like a teal. There we are. Freak show. It's purple. Beautiful, beautiful. Asphyxia. Looks more of a lavender. It's just there. Acid rain. It's more of a like a baby green. You can see it. Some of the these need buildings, so or just a primer. Just there. Moonflower. Oh, that looks so pretty. Like an orangey color shimmer, just there. UVB. Just there. Gold liner. That was the one why I bought it, and it just felt so battery. It lasted really well. It's a really nice gold, just there. Twice baked. So, oh, very, very, very powdery brown, just there, and then anonymous, which is the, just there. So these are the colors. I think some of them, there was only one that was powdery, which was the one here, which is called Twice Baked. That one had a lot of fallout, the rest of them were really nice. I think some of them need building, just like with any other eyeshadows. Overall, I have never had matte eyeshadows from Urban Decay. The two that I used, I was really happy with. This is a mix, as I said, satins. There's some, the oil sacks is a bit more of a shimmer. The rest of them are satins or metallics. And yeah, I can't wait to play with the greens. Um, <clears throat> the gold, the purples, even the pinks, and yeah, I, I'm not sure about the two blues that are in there, or that, that one there and that one there, but you know, overall, I think it's a very good palette. For the money, I haven't played enough with it to tell you it's worth the money. It's looking at the shades, they're beautiful, the packaging is amazing, it's sturdy, it's big, but it's sturdy. I think how many grams are in it? 20.0.8 grams. So 20 times 0 0.8 grams. I don't know. I think that's a little, isn't it? It's very little. So it's more of a palette than anything else. And I think the palette costs around 43 to 47 pounds. I think so. I think so. Yeah, but I'll make sure that I'll put the right correct price somewhere in here or in the description below. So yeah, I mean, the, the shades look really pretty, they do really, really pretty, but do I have, I don't really have like purples and lavenders anymore, um, I think I do have a couple of greens, mm -hmm. I was really, I just really wanted to try one, so I bought it, basically. and. The eye look came out really, really nice. Really like the packing of it. I really can like. I struggle with my under eye eyeshadow, sort of just where I want the line. I think this is going to be so far. I really enjoy that for that. It's not a good enough reason to be spending that much money on the palette, but the matte shades are really nice, and I can't wait to play and make more eye looks out of this as well. So for me, it was definitely worth the money. But you know, as I said, these are the, sh the shades. And you be the judge if you want this or you don't want to spend that kind of money or you have the shades already at home. I think the gold mine looks a lot like a, um, a telepathy from Colourpop, but maybe a little bit more golden. So, so yeah, so that's my little swatches slash review of the Urban Decay 20 or double X wise limited to reloaded palette on name a lot of name a lot of name very long name so um yeah so I think overall it's a really good palette for me that is but you be the judge for yourself 
just a little thing on my lips. I'm really loving this color. It's really like a Marilyn Monroe color. I'm wearing the Ma Maybelline Vivid Mad Liquid Lipstick in 35 Rebel Red and it's just a really pretty color and because this was in my giveaway <laughs> I really had to pick one up and just sort of like the look of the packaging and everything and I thought mm. yeah. <laughs> I really like the application as well so that's it for today thank you very much for watching you know if you enjoyed this video you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new thank you very much for all my subscribers new ones and the ones that have supported me from the beginning and you know share this video if you want to and I'll see you in my next one bye bye